Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today we're going to be talking about, as you know, credit score, right? That's very important for a number of things, but especially when it comes to getting approved for a mortgage. There have been some changes that affect, whoop, there we, there goes the camera. There have been some changes that affect your credit score. They're actually very positive. And I have Jenny Miller on with Ross Mortgage today to talk about what those changes are and how it may benefit you when it comes to your credit. Without further ado, let's get Jenny on to join us. Hi, Jenny. Hey, Tracy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah. Exactly what you said is true. There, um, there are some changes that um, occurred for credit reporting. Um, yeah. It's for people with medical debt. Okay. And so these are positive um, changes for consumers, and they just went into effect July 1st. So, you know, about a month, a month into this right now we've actually pulled credit reports and seen improvements for people yeah so um yeah there's just been three changes well two there's one coming that i wanted to talk to you about yeah that would be great because any time that we can improve our credit i mean that's very helpful in a number of ways but especially when it comes to getting approved for a mortgage so credit yeah. credit score is one factor but it's a very large factor so yeah it's huge yeah it's so huge. So what, what has changed? What's changed as of July 1st with um, medical billing or, you know, and how does that affect our credit? Okay. So like right now, this is kind of a shocking statistic. Um, statistic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but 88 million Americans are actually affected by okay. medical collection. And so right now, one of the big changes is, um, you know, they the collection companies, they try to collect debt for up to six months, and then it would be reported in your credit report. Okay. So you may get notices in the mail but within six months. Now it's on your credit report. Okay. That which frame if, is being changed to a year. Okay. Which is good because, like, you could have um, an address change or maybe, you know, something didn't get delivered to you six months I mean, in the scheme of medical billing, that's really not a long time. I know sometimes I don't even get a bill. It's been six months since I've been to the doctor. One of my kids have before you even see anything. So exactly, yeah. exactly. So they're extending that time frame six months, which of course gives you as a consumer more chance to, like you said, where's the mystery mail, right? Right. So you're notified your doctor's office to call you, etc. So a longer time frame before the collection, which unfortunately it's always like a black eye you know, on your credit report. Sure. Yeah. Regardless of the amount, right? It's not like a $20 collection is better than a $500 collection, for example. Okay. Now, this is the great piece of it, though. Um, any paid medical collection mm -hmm. after July 1st is removed from your credit report. So you're saying that even if, like, it's you know, whether it w was warranted or not, if something went on your credit report for, you know, a medical bill unpaid, but you had then paid it, it still sat on your credit report. Exactly. So it was like, hey, great that you paid it. Yeah. But it's still the fact that something went to collection. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of just like dead weight. And even if you know, there was no way to remove that and just improve your score. But now if it's paid, they're removed from your credit report completely. Okay. That is great news because, I, I mean... We all, whether, again, whether it was something somebody missed or, you know, it was a mistake that it was on there in the first place, it's nice to be able to correct when mistakes are made. So that's that's fantastic that you're not going to continue to be, um, you know, dinged, I guess, on your credit yep. score for something that you have paid. You are, you know, you're in good standing on. Exactly. And this is medical only. Okay. okay. Yep. For medical. And the first quarter of 2023, um, any medical debt collection that's under $500 will no longer report on your credit report. Okay, that's great. But even, if, even if after a year goes by mm -hmm. and they try to collect the monies from you, okay, under $500, if you haven't paid, it's not going to show up on your credit report. Now, this is Do a way to encourage people right. to not pay. You right, know, your right. Well, sure. I mean, you still owe the money. You're still they're still going to to collect, but you're but it's not going to have this huge 
you know, lasting impact for something, you know, that would be a more minor charge. Exactly. Like many, a lot of the, um, you know, collections we'll see are probably co-pays, you know, $20 to $40. Right. And, you know, you may very well have paid it, but if you're, you know, it's four years old, are you really going to go through your, you know, bank log to try to figure that out? Right. But that's a really a big one. And like I said, we have seen improvements to people's credit scores from even a month ago. Yeah. So if, um, you know, medical, a car accident, anything like that, those bills can add up so, you know, so quickly. And that medical debt has really affected people's credit scores. Yeah. And it was also, you know, kind of interesting um, when, you know, there was a survey that went out and it, 52% of millennials stated that their credit scores were affected by medical collections. Wow. Wow. That's a big percentage. It's a big percentage. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, things are different, you know, too, yeah. for people. It's like they were younger or whatever, didn't have to go to the doctor. And those are things your parents took care of along the way. Exactly. Right? I, I, um, I have two of my own that are in college, you know, but they are over 18. And so they're starting to see things are sent directly to them because now they're adults. And yeah. they're like, well, you know, what, what do I do with this? <laughs> right. You know, bills right. from when they've gone to the doctor, when they are away at school and, um, yeah, it's all new. So it's, uh, you know, there's a learning curve there for some. Absolutely. So, um, like I said, these are good things. If anybody, you know, out there has been looking into getting pre-approved or maybe had some issues with the medical collections, this is something that can definitely help them. Yes. Um, you know, what happens if you get a collection and, you know, notice in the mail, like, what are you supposed to do? Right. Um, the first thing is to contact the collection agency to let them know you received it. Cause that kind of starts the clock, you know, okay. on your clock. Yeah. Um, up to 80% of medical bills have errors on them. So if you get an explanation of benefits mm -hmm. from your insurance carrier, compare it to, you know, what is being shown on the collection. Right. right? And work to um, address those directly with the collection agency. Of course, if you have proof that you paid something through your bank statement, um, it's just always good to maybe keep a tab or, you know, a folder on your computer or something yeah. where you've got this proof. Because yeah. the weird thing about the bills, we'd also find that people, you know, a year later, something would pop up from three years prior. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, yep. very we yeah, I, I know I've experienced that as well with, uh, you know, kids. I had one of my daughters had surgery as a baby and it was many years later and we were getting different bills from different doctors and departments. And it's like, why were, why did these not come, you know, at, at the time? So it can be confusing when you have things coming in so far after the fact and you've paid so many bills that you think that there uh -huh. might be some. So Yep, keeping a keeping a folder, whether it's a hard copy or one on your computer, um, and those like you said, those explanation of benefits they're important. Uh, again, with um, one of my you know newly adult daughters, um, you know she's like, oh, what do I need this this for? And it's like, well, because you want to be able to see here's what the charge was, here's what your insurance company is paying, yeah. and here's what the balance is. That's what you should be seeing coming as a bill to you. So, um, yeah, very important to make sure I know it's, it's extra steps and who wants to be, you know, dealing with all that. We all want to be out and living, but it, it definitely can help you in the long run, um, and save some headaches yep. and save your credit score. So exactly. The 80%, you know, yeah. of the medical collections having errors, that's a big deal. So, yes. you know, like few of these items are already in effect, which is great. Mm -hmm. And the first quarter of 2023, any collection that's under $500 will no longer report on people's credit reports. So through the end of this so, year, they will continue to report, correct? Yep, if they're six month time frame. Okay. Now I know that. you said as of July 1st, things came off if they, you know, were paid. Is that going to be something mm -hmm. ongoing? Once a medical bill, yep. if something was sent to collection was put on, it will be pulled off of. Uh, off of your credit report as long as it's paid as long, yep. right as long so as it's paid and it's no longer yep. an outstanding debt exactly okay. so that's, that's huge yes and so, it is a big, so yep so it's a black eye off of your report yeah it's a good idea if you've had any past collections when it comes to medical expenses 
You might want to get a recent copy of your credit report. Just make sure that everything's come off, see where things are at. And if you've you've tried to either apply for a mortgage or and your, your credit score was a little bit low, it wouldn't hurt to reevaluate things with these changes. Absolutely. That's a yeah. great idea. Um, consumers can get a free credit report once a year, annualcreditreport.com. Okay. So always good to follow up and check it out. Absolutely. Well, anything else that on this topic for us, Jenny? This was great information. No, that's it. That's it for right now. But okay. um, definitely things that can impact people in a positive way. And good yes. news is something worth hearing, it's, right? Yes, it's absolutely. That is great news. And we appreciate you coming and, and bringing us this to us. You always have some great tidbits for us. So I appreciate you being on and sharing with us. And uh, we'll have you back on soon for the next great piece of information. So. Well, thanks for having me, Tracy. So, thank you, Jenny. Thanks for joining us. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. So thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you.